director of Na uh, Proud Fertility, and we're in the heart of New Brunswick in Freddie, Fredericton, right? Fredericton is the, uh, the city in northern New Brunswick-ish. Central-ish. And we're here with... I'm Kat with Elm City Doulas. Elm City Doulas is the um, state-of-the-art, the most amazing doula agency here in Fredericton, and we are filming live from... Fredericton! In, in the store Endeavor slash Think Play. So it's an amazing place. Thank you for letting us use this place to film this. So today, um, as you can see, we have our um, unicorn baby, which took a lot of time to birth. And so I'm going to play the role of a skeptical dad in need of a doula, or not really wanting a doula to begin with. So just try yes. to enlighten me, Kat. Yes, I'm going to convince the skeptical dad why doulas are awesome. All right, so true story guys. When I was having my first baby, I was in labor, all oh, primal and feeling like I had this and I was loud. Birthing like a goddess. Yes, I was in my zone making all sorts of noises that my husband had no clue why I was making those noises. Like he'd never heard me making those noises before. So it kind of threw everyone off in the room. These noises probably sound like yeah, let's demonstrate. Uh, demonstrate, yes! Uh, uh, <laughs> that's pretty soft. I, know, I, don't wanna, I don't want to yell in the store, though. Uh, <laughs> yes. They really so, do, and they're screaming. Yeah. So that's exactly what I sounded like. Okay, so get this, guys. A nurse <laughs> told my husband, keep her quiet. We have to get things done. I guess they wanted to put an IV in or something, and I was being uncooperative. If you sounded like that, I would put a few more IVs in so, you. So, know. my poor husband now felt like he had to kind of take me out of my zone or whatever to make me be quiet. Anyways, that's not good for birthing women. We don't want to be told to be quiet. We don't want to be told to not do something that's working really well for us. So, we didn't have a doula. It was, we just didn't think about it. So if we had had a doula, she would have been able to help us navigate that situation. Help you, yes. help me, and... Yes, and our baby, know. our unicorn but, baby. But the thing is, even if, don't, I mean, aren't there lots of um, medical people already in? Yes, there are, uh, They can help. Yes. I mean, nurses, nurses doctors. Nurses and doctors are amazing. We love them. They do an awesome job. But their job is to make sure that baby and mom are healthy and safe. They can't sit there and give you massages for hours on end. Massages? Yes, massages. Okay. You want me to demonstrate? Okay. I, I get this. I don't, yes. I mean, is this, I'm not sure so, if it's, wait, listen. is this for dads as well? It's for moms and dads. Surrogate moms? Surrogate moms yes. as well? Yeah, it's And for, their partners? And their partners. Continue to demonstrate. Yes. Well, I can moan as well if you'd like. Oh! Uh, we do back massages because a oh. lot of laboring women feel a lot of tension in their back, so we're really good at that. So, you know, they can't, the nurses and doctors can't really sit there and massage your feet, your back, your shoulders for hours and hours on end, you know, if your labor's long. Mm -hmm. So the other reason why... That must cost a lot, though. Well, yes. Some dads and partners feel that the cost of a doula is a bit much, but... Oh, it's not free? No! Because doulas we need, are professions. We're professionals mm -hmm. who need to earn a living, and we do this... Yes, we're very passionate about it, and yes, we love to do our job, but we also need to pay for childcare and, you know, our certifications and All our that courses. Kind of stuff. So and, doulas are yes. a recognized profession. They're going to help you, and... Um, so, I so mean... So it's you, an investment, because doulas actually not only help you get through the labor by supporting mm -hmm. you physically and emotionally, but we help reduce the need for interventions so that you have an easier recovery after. We also help reduce the need for C-sections so that you know you and your partner have an easier time after you have mm -hmm. the baby. And you can look up those studies if you don't believe me. It's, it's true. You were telling me something about going to Everest and then yes. I just kind of you know That's did a right. squirrel earlier. Yes, so um, another reason why I can convince skeptical dads is with this analogy. So you don't show up at Mount Everest just saying, I'm gonna hike this peak and I'm gonna wing it. You can do that as a skeptical partner, you could. but you won't have such an awesome time yes. doing that. And you might get lost and you might not know what to do in certain situations and you might feel really scared or really nervous or really helpless. So a doula can help you feel prepared, feel confident, feel informed and knowledgeable so that you can be an awesome partner 
and an awesome support person to your partner, wife, your partner. or your wife, so, your girlfriend. Yeah, a lot of, of partners and dads ask me, you know, like, are you going to take my place? And I say, no, dude, I'm going to help you be. <laughs> no, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to help you be an even more awesome support person. So that nobody you know wants a doing. dad that's passing out or. Not or knowing just, how to respond, or just know, not, you know. Yeah, a lot of, of the, the. Do you know what? I could probably go check my score for the football game. Yes, you that's can, um, that's the kind of guy I am. I love football. Yeah, you can have guilt-free breaks. You can take naps while the doula. Chug a beer, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> that's no, awesome. I wouldn't recommend chugging a beer, but yeah, you can go have you know a break or um, go outside to get some fresh air because sometimes labor mm -hmm. takes a long time. So. You're well, thank you so much, Kat, for joining yeah, us today in no Fredericton. Um, Kat is from Elm City Doulas. Please check out her page. And we are in Endeavor Arts. And Think Place. And Think Place in yeah. Fredericton, New Brunswick. Hi, everybody, and bye, everybody. Thank you. Bye.